Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK, and one of the first tutorials I did when I first started was how to do a flag wave in Cinema 4D. And we've just had a comment on the video saying, is it possible to clone the flag and add multiple materials to each of the different clones? And the answer is yes. Yes it is, as you can see in front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how. So I'm just going to go back to my original flag wave here. Okay, there is a tutorial on it. And as you can see, we have a single texture to it. So what we need to do is select our flag and pole, Alt-G to group, and then go to MoGraph, hold down Alt on your keyboard and press Cloner, and that automatically makes the cloner apparent. Now it's going off on the Y direction, so I'm just going to get rid of that, and I'm just going to spread that out a bit. There we go, so I've got my three flag clones. Now if I press play, you will see that they all do their nice little flag wavy bit. They will do exactly the same thing because they are a direct clone, so they are replicating the same thing. But we're just gonna see how we can add different materials to all of these. So the object itself already has a white flag texture to it, or rather just a white texture which is fine. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Texture, and then I am going to go to MoGraph and Multishader. Multishader will allow you to add in a variety of different things, anything from images if you want to, you know, have specific flag textures or pictures or anything like that. Or in this case, I'm just going to use something like a gradient, and then I'm going to use Noise, and then I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to use um, brick, shall we say. Okay, so that gives us maybe three you could keep adding, and you can move them up and down depending on which order you want stuff to go. And you can see at the moment it's only doing the last one. It's because I need to change this color brightness to index ratio. And you can see that it is now doing the top one, the second one, and the third one. And if I add a cl another clone, you can see that it changes because it does it via a sort of gradient from black to white. So it registers those, okay? Um, that is one way of being able to manipulate this. So if you've got a multiple flags that you want to work with, then I suggest you um, make sure that you've got the right number of flags for the right number of images, and that will get you your multi-cloner shader there. And if I press play, there you go, you can see that it retains that material all the way across and we've got it cloning in the wind. Okay, I hope that was a useful little quick tutorial for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk